Okay, I am looking at this trapezoid and looking at the angles. And if I look at this specific angle and I measure it with this protractor, there it is, 60 degrees. Let's go to another angle. I'm gonna go ahead and move this protractor to another angle, move my zero, and I'll get it back. So now I'm looking at this angle from here to here, seeing if that's 60 also. Well, I know it's actually not gonna be 60 because it's obtuse, and obtuse angles are more than 90. And I can see my 90 line right here. So I know it's 90 and some more. And you might even guesstimate as to what that is. So there's my 90, and I'm gonna go all the way to that other part of the angle. And now I have 120 degrees for this obtuse angle. Let's go ahead and see what happens over here at this angle. So I'm gonna change my zero so it matches this side of the angle. And now, look at that, it matched right up. It's 120 degrees again. And I'll even show you again. So I started at zero, I need to go all the way to the other part of the angle. And I'm at 120 degrees. So let's see what happens at this other acute angle. We knew this one was 60, and then these two obtuse angles were 120. So now if I go down here, and I move my zero, and I get it ready. Now I go from one side of the angle to the other, and we are at 60 degrees again. So pretty cool two acute angles of 60 degrees and two obtuse of 120.